Oh, they love exploring the beautiful garden. They know just where that tree is. We will not go close to it, they determine. Oh, it's a beautiful tree, but God has said, and we will obey. And they continue on exploring the wonders of their beautiful home, everything imaginable to make them happy God has given them. They don't need to eat from that tree. They have every other tree imaginable to eat from in the garden. But then, one day, he looks up. <gasps> I'm by the tree. Where's Adam? He's not here. She realizes, she thinks, I'd better go. i better go to Adam, as the angel said, but something's, something's in the tree moving. Something's talking. The serpent is talking. I didn't realize a serpent could talk. She had never before heard a serpent talk. The serpent hadn't been given by God the ability of speech. Her attention is arrested. As the serpent says to her, Yea, hath God said ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Oh, we may eat of every tree of the garden. Eve is talking to the serpent. She should have run from the place, but she didn't. Yes, we may eat of every tree of the garden, but not this one. For God has said, ye shall not eat of it or touch it. Or you will die. Oh, look at me. The serpent eats a piece of fruit. I'm not dead. In fact, look at me. Ha! <laughs> Do serpents talk? I'm a talking serpent! Look, I've become wiser by eating this fruit! Here, Eve, you want to be wise? Take this fruit! <gasps> but she took it! She didn't fall over dead. She grew bolder. She ate it! She didn't experience the immediate results. And now she fills her arms with the fruit. She plucks the fruit herself. I will take this fruit to Adam. It's fruit to make us wise. She carries a fruit going toward Adam. The serpent has deceived her. He has said, ye shall not surely die. And she believed him. Adam sees Eve coming with a fruit. <gasps> his countenance drops. Fear grips his heart. <gasps> My wife has eaten the fruit. She's touching it. <gasps> She's going to die. Oh. I love her. I don't want her to die. I don't want to be without her. I know I shouldn't. She has sinned. She's been deceived by the serpent, by Satan, but he determines to share a fate. He takes the fruit, and he too eats it. Even the sadness, even the change can be felt by the animals around them. And Adam and Eve realize their garments of light are gone. They're naked. They quickly run to sow themselves fig leaves in the bushes. Angels in heaven lay down their harps. They cast off their glittering crowns. Sadness grips their hearts. Adam and Eve have sinned. They cover their faces and mourn. What should be done? Oh, they remember the tree of life that makes people live forever and ever. Quickly, two angels are sent. You must keep Adam and Eve from eating of the tree, otherwise sin will never have an end. If they eat that fruit, that will make them live forever. The angels stand by the tree. They have light in their hands. It looks like swords dazzling with brightness. Adam and Eve hear a voice in the garden. The voice 
the voice of God. Adam, where are you? Hast thou eaten of the tree that I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? Adam and Eve are hiding. They heard the footsteps of God. They felt the sadness that sin brings. Slowly, they venture out of hiding. There they are. They come before Jesus. Adam and Eve. They try some of the same things that Lucifer, Satan tried. They try to cast the blame on someone else. She says, the serpent, he tricked me, he beguiled me, and I did eat. Adam looks at Eve, he says, she gave me the fruit and I did eat. And now, Jesus looks at the serpent, that old serpent, the devil had used him, that beautiful serpent now. But he says, you will be cursed. You will crawl up on the ground through the dust. People will hate you because of how you have been used by Satan. There will be weeds and thorns will grow. You have to work hard, he turned to Adam. The sweat of your brow, you will have to work. Jesus turns to Lucifer. Satan. Once Lucifer in heaven, now Satan, the deceiver. And he gives a wonderful promise. It's in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. He says that he is going to put hatred between Satan and And his children who choose Jesus' side. He's going to put hatred. And there's going to be an end to Lucifer. Lucifer is going to try to hurt Jesus. He's going to continue his war against God. He's going to hurt Jesus. Heal his feet. But eventually Lucifer's head is going to be mortally wounded. There will be an end to Satan. Once Lucifer, now Satan, the serpent, the devil, the deceiver. The originator of selfishness and rebellion of sin that has caused so much trouble and sadness in our world today. Tears fill Adam and Eve's eyes as they realize their choice has cost happiness. It has caused the loss of their garden home. And it will cause pain to Jesus' heart. But we can make choices today. We don't have to be on Satan's side. We can choose to be on Jesus' side. The side of happiness and peace. What side are you going to choose? We sang the song. It said, choose ye this day. That's Jesus' voice to us today. He says, choose ye this day whom ye will serve. Who are you going to serve? Satan or Jesus? Whose side are you going to be on? What do you say? Jesus' side, what do you say? Jesus', Jesus side, what about you? Jesus. Yes. Do you all choose Jesus' side? Do you want to say, Jesus, I choose you. I choose to love you and to obey you. I don't want selfishness left in my heart. Please take it away. Is that your choice too? What about each one of you? What is your choice? Let's choose Jesus. I'm happy for each one of your choices to choose Jesus' side. Let's tell him our choice, and let's ask him to come in and abide in our hearts.
Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for revealing to us from the Bible the origin of selfishness, the beginning of all the trouble that has been brought upon our world, all the pain, all the suffering, sickness, disease, disasters, everything all around us. Now we know where it all started. Now we know that it doesn't come from you, but sometimes you allow Satan to show his real character, his real colors, so that we can be determined more than ever before to choose your side. We love you. We want to delight in doing your will. This is our choice. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen.